we are going to discuss command line interface in short it will be called as CLI. So, CLI has been a great tool for interaction with computers until the video display monitors came into existence. So, CLI is the first choice of many technical users and respective programmers and it is the minimum interface a software can provide to its user. So, those who are having the experience to work with the console, so they are actually using this CLI. So, there is a command line interface where the commands will be issued and the when the command will be issued then respective outputs will be obtained. So, this is the minimum interface a software can provide to one user. So, CLI provides a command prompt the place where the user types the command and feeds to the system. The user needs to remember the syntax of the command and its respective use. So, depending upon the operating system, we know that there are different type of commands are there and each and every command has got different syntax depending upon the platform. So, earlier CLI were not programmed to handle the user errors effectively. So, now let us go for the next point on this CLI. The command is a text based reference to set of instructions. So, what is a command? Command is nothing but a text based instruction which are expected to be executed by the system. And there are methods like macros, scripts that make it easy for the user to operate. In a script, we can write a set of instructions, set of such commands and instructions. And if you execute the script, then all those commands will get executed one after another. So, here we are having the CLI uses less amount of computer resource as compared to GUI. So, here we are, we are having one Unix based CLI. So, here we are having this prompt, this prompt is being denoted by dollar in case of uh, in case of uh, Unix environment, dollar indicates that you have logged as an ordinary user and if you have this hash symbol as a prompt that means you have logged as a super user or as an administrator. So, this is a command prompt, here the command has been issued as ls, in case of Unix or Linux ls stands for list. So, this particular command has been issued, so this is a command minus la, so now all files are going to be displayed here, all the files including the hidden one also and l will be denoting the long list format. So, they will be known as the parameters with this ls command and this is the respective outputs are coming. You see everything is coming, whatever the commands you are executing, you are executing the command in the same screen where the outputs are coming and here these outputs are having multiple different columns. So, that is one console as an example, we have put this one on our screen. Now, let us consider the CLI elements. A text based command line interface can have the following elements. So, what are they? We are having the command prompt, I discussed that one earlier in case of Unix. If you log as an ordinary user, the command prompt will be your dollar. If you are the administrator or the super user, then your command prompt will be the hash symbol. There is a default one, you can change that one also. So, it is a text based notifier that is mostly shows the context in which the user is working and it is generated by the system software, there is a software system. So, now next one is the cursor. So, this is a small horizontal line or might be a vertical bar also of the height of the line to represent the position of the character while typing. So, if you type the character on the keyboard, so where this character will get displayed on the screen that will be denoted by the position of the cursor. So, cursor is mostly found in blinking state to get to grab the attention of the user and it moves as the user writes or deletes something. Next one is the command. So, a command is nothing but an executable instruction. So, it may have one or more parameters which you can pass with the commands and output on the command execution is shown in line on the screen. When output is produced, the command prompt is displayed on the next line. So, after issuing one command that is one instruction, the outputs will be obtained and again the command prompt will be obtained in the next line. So, in this way we have discussed what is command line interface and what is CLI. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.